to take the render frames. I'm going to show you guys how to render and set up a simple animation here. So this is the animation I've got, very simple. And I'm going to render this and output it into Premiere and re-render it again into any format I want. So the first thing I need to do is I need to change some settings in the render settings. So the render settings is a little geared uh, movie clip box here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my uh, resolution. I'm just going to do a full resolution here. And I'm going to go into, and that's my image size. I'm going to change this to JPEG because that's perfectly fine for this exercise. Uh, I'm going to change, instead of single frame, I'm going to change it name, extension, and number. Uh, so this is this is fine here, name, number, or something like this. This is perfectly fine. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down here and you'll notice once you do get off of the single frame, you'll have start frame and end frame. My end frame will be 50 and I'm gonna render every single frame. And then what I'm gonna do is basically say close. I'm gonna open my render view and I'm going to render my sequence right here and then basically it's going to render. Now, rendering takes some time depending on how much materials. This is a very simple scene. So you'll notice that each render is ultimately uh, goes through and saves it um, to my file location where I've got all my other files. <clears throat> all right, once we've got our frames rendered, we're just simply gonna open Premiere. We're gonna open a new project here and uh, we are going to just title it whatever we need. I'm just gonna quickly choose a location here, uh, just a new folder, calling it uh, frames, and I'm gonna call it frames, and then I'm gonna hit create, and then it's going to bring up the Premiere interface. So with that in mind, then we can grab our images here. I'm just gonna grab all of them. And to make life simpler, I'm just gonna grab them and drag them into the timeline, really simple. And you'll have to expand the timeline so you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna grab them all, right click, and go to speed and duration. And here you'll notice it says 429, so that means four, uh, four seconds here, or I'm going to go 0, and I'm going to go zero one, And that will basically make each one one frame. And then we're going to notice that it brings it down like so. And so that is your animation right there. Very simple, very fast. Then what we're going to do is simply go to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to go to Media. And you're going to get all your timeline stuff up here. I'm just going to render this to my desktop real quick. Uh, H.264 is perfectly fine. You'll notice your settings here. So it's 19 by 24. So I can frame it what I want. And then I'm just going to say export. And then it will do its thing. So Because it's so small, it was exported very quickly. And then it is on the video desktop right here. And you'll notice that my desktop is right there and that's my animation and that's how you export a simple animation from Maya all right if you like this hit uh, subscribe and uh, talk to you guys later